Look at there, first cast with the cork and just a little Bobby Garland jig. Well, I got that cork set about, what, five and a half, six feet deep. Just a little one sixteenth ounce jig head, a little Bobby Garland monkey milk. They'll hit a cork too. Of course they will. Why wouldn't they? There he goes. Yep. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. This is a blast, folks. This is fun. Oh, white crappie. Nice. Let's measure this fish. Just see. Ten and a half inches long. Fun to catch. Okay, folks, it's March the 3rd. It's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. I've been out here for a couple hours. I've been spider rigging. You'll see that video. I've got a limit of uh, fish I caught. Uh, minus one. I've left one so I can just keep fishing. Uh, I'm not keeping any more fish. I might catch one more at the end to make my limit, but uh, I've, I've been spider rigging using minnows, double hook rigs. I've caught a ton of fish. So I put the spider rigs up and I got my cork rod out. It's a B&M Sam super sensitive nine foot rod. I love this for corking. I've just got some six pound high vis uh, K9 line and a little Bobby Garland 1 16th ounce uh, jig head and a Bobby Garland baby shad uh, bait. The jig is not a Bobby Garland. A little split shot above it. I've got a bunch of fish just schooled up out here in the cove. I put in at uh, Kaufman Beach and came up from there. Found a cove that's just loaded with a bunch of fish. And so I'm just gonna sit here and catch a bunch of fish with the cork just because it's a lot of fun. There he is. Got him. Oh boy. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. They're not huge by any means, but they're, you know, nine and a half, ten and a half inch fish, what I've been catching this morning. A lot of fun. Just throwing it out there in the school. Got my jig down about five and a half, six feet deep. Got the spot lock on. Nosed up, oh, nosed into the wind. There he is. Wow. Uh -huh. 
beautiful fish and a lot of fun to catch on the cork. There we go. Okay, let's get back out there. Let's look on this graph here. You can see now my transducer spinning around because I've got it on spot lock, but uh, I'll just show you. I'm pointing out this way 30 feet. See all those fish out there? And they're anywhere from uh, 18, 20 feet deep all the way up to three feet deep. So I'm gonna just kind of get where I can cast into them with this cork, hit the spot lock again, and just fish for them till they move and then we'll find another school. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna hit the spot lock right here. Cast my little cork out. I'm just letting the wind kind of push it along. Give it a little twitch every now and then. Come on, fish, I know you're out there. I see you on the live scope. Don't make me put a minnow on. Okay, they're on out there. About 30 feet, let's cast on out there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that cork on the video or not, but that's where the fish are. That's where my cork is. Oop, there he goes. Oh, he had it. He had it. Tell you what, we got minnows left over from our spider rigging. Let's just put a little Let's just tip this first with a minnow, and if they don't bite that, I'll take the plastic off and just put a minnow on the jig head. But I bet they'll eat this. Yep. Oh, got him. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? Oh, man, these fish are just loaded in here. I mean, they are just loaded in here. <laughs> How much fun is that? Put us another little minnow on there. There you go, just a little jig, Bobby Garland monkey milk, and a minnow. That may be too big a presentation. That's a big old minnow I had on there. I'm just going to take the minnow off and just go with the jig. They were biting it, and I don't know why I added the minnow. Impatient, I guess.
there. Oh, he had it. Got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little black. I'm going to give me a little Captain Dave's hog jam and put on there. There you go. Now, see, I'd put a pretty good sized minnow in there and they wouldn't bite it. These fish are small. They're wanting a smaller bait. So I took the minnow off, just went back to the jig. They're biting it. There we go, Captain Dave's hog jam. I'll just smear a little hog jam on there. Rub it in real good. Ha, they can't resist. there under the dock moved into the shade they moved into the shade that sun got overhead and some of them moved in under the docks I bet you could catch them dock shooting right now that's not how I'm wanting to catch them I want to catch them on a cork So that's what I'm going to do. There he is. They've moved over in the shade, folks. Come on. Yep, they moved over into the shade. Oh, sun's getting up overhead. They're looking for the dark stuff. It's fun. Let's just cast right on over there again. Uh oh, almost too long. There he is. They can't resist old Captain Dave's hog jam. <laughs> oh. Boy. school fish right there. Yep. I see them on the live scope. They're there. Yeah. Another dandy. Another dandy black. Just a little deeper. Uh, 
Oop. There he is. They're not really taking it under. These are small fish, and that's a big float. A uh, lot bigger than I would ordinarily use, but I'm trying to use as big a float as I can get away with, so hopefully the camera will kind of pick it up. But I like to use a float as small as possible to float my bait. There you go. So these fish are kind of hitting it and taking it down, but they're not really yanking it under. That's a nice fish. Oh, Bobby Garland monkey milk with a little Captain Dave's hog jam on it. Down about five and a half feet deep. Oh man, look at that. Ooh, think that's a school of fish? That could be. They're small if they're crappie. They, it could be shad, but there may be some fish mixed in with it. If they're crappie, a bunch of little ones in there. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh, if that's a crappie, it's a dandy <laughs> pull and drag. I don't think it's a crappie. I'd sure like for it to be. I'm betting that's a catfish. No, white bass. The old white bass. Nice white bass, too. I got his fin right in the palm of my hand. There we go. Now I got a hold of him. Yeah. Nice white bass for sure. That's not what we're after. Good fighting. There's some crappie. There's some crappie. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yep. <laughs> white. Ten inch white. All right. Tore my bait all up. Better get another bait. Man, that one took it under. That one took it under. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard fighting crappie there. Yeah, nice one. Look at there. I, yeah, that's good fish. That's probably the best one I've caught. I tore up that little Bobby Garland baby shad, so I reached in the box and I got me a little two inch muddy water in orange and chartreuse. That fish liked it. Let's see if we can catch some more. Okay, I like it. I like it right there. There he is. Got on him with the live scope, throw in there and catch one. You can say what you want to about the live scope, folks, but I like it. I'll never be without it. I mean, you can just position those fish and get on them. Otherwise, you sit out here, you're throwing in the dark. I mean, you can 
get them on side scan or down scan, but you got to get right over them or you get them on side scan and you got to try to turn around and estimate about where they are. With live scope, you know exactly where they are, like right there. Point and shoot. All right, where are they? Man, they're kind of everywhere. He was trying to take it and I wasn't watching. Oh yeah. Well they all look alike, don't they? A little fish. They're liking that little two inch muddy water. Straighten that out a little bit. Yep. See you later, little fish. Thank you for playing. Well, I'm not used to sitting, folks, other than when I'm spider rigging, and this seat's kind of odd to me. I sort of feel like Bill Dance sitting here. Got him, got him. He came up and hit it and came up with it. That cork just sort of fell over on its side. When that happens, set the hook. There you go. Get out, go on. There you go. Thank you. Look at those fish out there, folks. <laughs> Point and shoot. What a bunch of fish out there. There he is. They just come up and kind of mouth it. How many fish is that? Uh, this cove is just full of fish. Look at there. I mean, it's just full of fish. Yep. Okay, folks. It's right at noon, a little bit after. Beautiful day. Nothing huge, but a lot of good eating fish. I'm going to catch one more. I forgot I gotta finish out my limit. I've got 14 on the stringer. I should have put that fish on the stringer. There he is, there he is. All right. Man, they are just scattered everywhere out in the middle of this cove. Oh, he just came off, That gummit. I wanted to catch one more to fill out my stringer and quit. I just can't get it in the boat. We're gonna have to go back out and catch one. Where are they? Oh my God, look at them. Can you believe how many crappie are just roaming out here in the middle of this body of water? It's unbelievable. I just got a jig and a bobber set about five and a half feet deep look at that screen what a great time of the year yep <laughs> there he is will i get him in big enough to keep oh yeah oh yeah all right that's gonna do it i'm gonna put this on the stringer 
fill out my limit. I'm going to go home. It's been a great day. I think I'm going to get two videos out of this. One spider rigging, and then I corked up a whole bunch of fish. So let me get it on the stringer. Okay, so here's what we did. We got a limit of just good eaters. Nothing huge, but boy, what a pretty mess of black crappie. Caught a few white mixed in with it. Most of these came spider rigging this morning, but caught a bunch corking. I'm gonna quit and go to the house. Thanks for being with me. Hope I get a couple of videos, and I hope you'll watch them both. And if you like them, I hope you'll subscribe. Hit the like button. Thanks for being with me.